Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and today on the channel we're going to be covering a Balvenie. It's actually my first Balvenie on the channel, which is surprising to me considering I've been going for so many years. But I picked up this little wee tasting set from my local superstore. Uh, it was quite cheap actually, I think it was um, in the region of about 13 to 15 pounds, can't remember exactly. But it contains the Balvenie 12 Double Wood, the Balvenie Caribbean Cask 14, and the Balvenie Double Wood 17. I'm going to be doing the 14 and the 17 a little bit later. I'm not going to do them in, in order, so not, not the next episode, but I will get to them eventually, and I'll probably bring this little set out again. But today, the focus is on the Balvenie Double Wood 12 year. Now, Balvenie is kind of a notable distillery because they still grow their own barley, they still floor malt their own stuff at their own site. In fact, their floor maltings actually supply the Glenfiddich distillery as well. They also employ a team of coopers who look after the casks. So they might, although I don't think they build their own, but they, uh, they might take staves apart, they might rechar them, they might build them again, whatever. But a lot of traditional stuff still goes on there. There's hardly any that do their own floor maltings, for instance. Um, I think Springbank is another one, but um, there aren't many, basically, there aren't many. But onto the dram itself, so this is the 12 year old expression and they call it double wood. So this is not to be confused with the triple wood, which is a airport uh, kind of travel retail exclusive with a litre. It's actually quite expensive as well that one, it's about 75, 80 pounds in the UK. Double wood actually refers to uh, the two different kinds of casks used during its maturation period. Its first cask is a refill American oak, not even first fill unfortunately. The triple cask, triple wood, boasts the ability to have the first fill American oak and the refill, but they also have first fill European sherry oak in there as well. So. Just to reiterate, the double wood is refill American and first fill sherry. The triple wood has those two plus the first fill American oak. Kind of important, but not so much. So really, this is it's basically a smart way of saying it's sherry finished. I don't want to put a negative on it, but it, yeah, it's a smart way of saying sherry finished. I don't know how long for, but obviously total 12 years. Let's go on to the nose and see where we get with it. Now I'm sure you're all waiting for me to say the dreaded S word, but can I get a cheer? There is no sulphur on this whiskey to me. So if I don't get it, I don't think anybody else will. I'm like a canary with these things. It's definitely that sherry notes to it, the kind of brown sugar, sweet sugar. There's also a lot of kind of sweet fruits to it as well. And I get a bit of kind of honey and some vanillas from that kind of American oak coming through as well. Let's try palate. Mm. Yeah, a really superior flavour. It's kind of nice and clean, but I want to say mellow as well. It's mellow is my preferred alternative to smooth. Neither words I don't, I don't think actually really tell you much but it's it's not in your face it's at 43 percent so it's a nice a nice uh, ABV but it isn't too high. There's definitely some spices in there as well. Mm. Yeah and definitely that sherry influence is coming through. It's got some I don't know if you can even see that, but it's got some really beautiful legs on the glass after I swirled that around a little bit. Really nice and viscous. In the UK, a full bottle of this sells for around 35 to 40 pounds. It's quite reasonable. It's, uh, it's kind of pushing the range for a 12 year old, I guess, but it's also really quite available. Um, I can get a full bottle of that in the same supermarket I bought this, but in fact, I think I can get all three, but I was cheap and I bought the little set instead of all three bottles. Why not? It's, uh, it's expensive to run a YouTube channel, unfortunately, but I think it's definitely worth a go. I think after trying this several times now, um, I definitely think it's time I 
owned a bottle of Balvenie something. Maybe I'll plump for the more expensive ones after trying something like this. Mm. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick review of the Balvenie Doublewood 12 year. I'm going to be covering the other two at some point, so if you are interested in my opinions on those, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It'll probably be in the next couple of months. And don't forget to watch more videos just like this. This is exactly what YouTube thinks you should watch. Who can argue with that?